All right. Hello, everyone. I see a bunch of folks joining for our latest edition of our All Demo No Pitch. Because we only have 30 minutes, I'm actually going to go ahead and get started. So thank you so much for joining us. I see uh, some familiar faces on the call, um, or familiar names, I should say. My name is Hannah Jarrett, and I'm the Associate Director of Product Marketing here at Elastic Path. Um, today, we're going to go through our demo. We'll get there in a few minutes, but first, some housekeeping items. So if you're joining us for the first time, this is a series. We do a ton of all demo, no pitches. So feel free to check back on our website and look at previous sessions. In addition, you'll notice that you are muted. Um, we do that just so we can move through the content quickly. You'll see Q&A at the bottom. Feel free to ask any questions throughout the session via the Q&A, and we will get to those at the end. If we don't get to anything, we'll follow up with you directly. You'll also notice that we just hit record, so you'll be able to share this with anyone else on your team who may have missed the session, who would benefit from it. It'll be sent out to you um, by the end of the day, I believe. All right, great. So now we'll get on to the good stuff. So if you're joining us, you saw that today we're going to be talking about our pre-composed solution for dealer-enabled D2C commerce. And this has come up and we've created this solution because D2C continues to be leading the way for commerce, especially during the pandemic when so many brands, maybe some of you, you know, resonate with this, had to figure out other ways to drive revenue. So you may have launched a D2C digital business for the first time, but you may also have been thinking about your dealer networks places that you sold through previously. You didn't want to abandon those. You didn't want to cause channel conflict. And so brands who are launching D2C for the first time realized that they needed to figure out how to bring in their dealers. How could they continue to leverage those partnerships and relationships? But it can be challenging, right? These things are easier said than done. And that's exactly why we've partnered with Cnetric, who some folks are on the line with us today, to develop this pre-composed solution for dealer-enabled D2C commerce. It's a complete solution for brands who want to launch D2C and leverage their existing dealer networks. You'll see in the demo, we have core Elastic Path functionality for core commerce, a D2C storefront built on React and powered by Contentful or your preferred CMS. We've got Algolia for search pre-integrated, Stripe for payments pre-integrated, and a full dealer portal for fulfillment management. Plus, it's all built on Cnetric's universal commerce suite that allows for no-code, low-code swaps in those preferred partners. With this solution, brands can get up and live quickly with D2C, leverage their dealer networks, and easily adjust and optimize as they want to swap in partners. So without further ado, I'll stop talking. We'll get to the demo. So much for pitch, so much for no pitch. Um, but I'm excited to be joined by Arul Money, who's the VP of Solutions at Cnetric. He'll be taking us through the demo, and I'll pass it over to him now. Thanks, Arul. Thank you so much, Anna. Thanks for that introduction. Uh, welcome, everyone, to our demonstration today of the Universal Commerce Suite pre-composed solution for dealer-enabled D2C commerce. That's quite a mouthful, but as you will be able to see it from the demo that we've got for you today, it does deliver on the promises that we've made. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen, and I hope that all of you can see and hear me clearly. So Hannah's already uh, introduced um, our pre-composed solution, right? And uh, over the last 12 to 18 months, composable as an approach, as an architectural approach to delivering, creating applications, creating e-commerce systems has really taken off. And we've also seen, as Hannah mentioned, in the pandemic, direct-to-consumer commerce has exploded. We've got digitally native brands, as well as established brands that are on the bandwagon. And... Uh, you know, there's, uh, when these brands are essentially getting into e-commerce, there is the need to get to market quickly. There is the need to innovate quickly. And there's also the need to involve their partner networks. For established brands, these could be partners that they've nurtured over many years and they don't want to alienate them. And for digitally native brands, these could be new relationships that they've set up but they also wanna make sure that those partners feel respected and involved in the entire process of engaging with the customer. And so we believe that this pre-composed solution is really timely uh, because it does 
tick all of those boxes. It accelerates speed to market. It accelerates the pace of innovation. It also includes your dealers and partners in the entire uh, e-commerce strategy. And as you will also be able to see, we've developed this to be a future-proof solution, right? So for today's demonstration, as you can see on the screen, we've got a fictional brand called Nova. And Nova is a brand that sells online. They also sell through a dealer network. Now, Nova is a brand that's got uh, apparel, they've got electronics, so very wide product assortment that they sell. Um, and they've got, um, they've built this entire solution, this entire solution that you see is the pre-composed solution that we've developed that has a React storefront for the web experience. We also have a mobile app experience that we're gonna show you as part of this demonstration that's developed on React Native. All of the site content, all of the user experience is powered by content management systems. Uh, this could be our open source systems. It could be the CMS that you currently use. And we also have integration to Contentful uh, as a CMS for those who are really uh, looking to utilize the powerful capabilities of the Contentful platform, right? So uh, this complete pre-composed solution is really driving Nova's uh, experience to customers. And we wanted to show you as the demo, part of the demonstration today, how would a typical user kind of interact with the Nova brand, right? So we've created a, a user called James and James is a digitally adept, uh, loyal Nova customer. And he's come on to the uh, storefront today. He's here because he's looking for some clothes. He's looking to revamp his post lockdown wardrobe. He's got uh, upcoming gatherings with his friends. So he wants to look, uh, look good. So he's here. And we've integrated Algolia as a search engine, along with Elastic Path as the core commerce engine in this pre-composed solution. So Algolia really powers that search experience. So when James is on the, on the site, he can leverage the incremental search capabilities. He can search by color, or he could search by brand, right? And that way he's able to identify the products that he's looking for. He can even narrow those products down by price so that once he finds the product he's looking for, he knows this is something that's gonna suit his style and it's gonna suit his budget, right? And the good thing about Algolia is that it works with any size catalog that you might have. So if uh, uh, James knows exactly the product that he's looking for, he's gonna be able to find it without any issues irrespective of the size of the catalog. So James has now got a couple of items that he's been looking to purchase and he's going to go ahead and check out now. And in the checkout, he fills in all the information about himself. And down here, as you can see, James has a few options. Beyond the standard shipping option, he's also got the option to have the order fulfilled by a dealer. It can be shipped from a dealer. It could be picked up from a dealer. So this is how we're really bringing the dealer into the picture and getting them involved in the entire process itself. So James figures, fine, I'm going to be heading out. I can just go ahead and pick up the order myself. So he selects a pick up a dealer. And what this does is the system then looks at the inventory availability in the dealers nearest to James's location and shows him the ones that are best suited for fulfilling that order. So James has these three options and he selects that one store. And once he's selected that, he can go ahead and make the payment. And this is using the integration with Stripe uh, that we already have as part of our pre-composed solution, right? So once he's got all of that information filled in, he can go ahead and process the order. And once that order is confirmed, we have the authorization from, uh, from Stripe, that order then gets saved. It will then reflect in James's My Account. So James can see this in his My Account history or his order history. Uh, in the Elastic Path Commerce dashboard, the admin users, the Nova users can uh, take a look and they'll be able to see the uh, order as well. They can track the order as it goes through all of its uh, different statuses. Uh, and then this order is now transferred to the dealer. So as James selected, that he was going to pick this up at the Nova Lita store. So we have a dealer portal, a dealer dashboard that is included as part of this pre-composed solution that allows the dealers to actually fulfill those orders. So in this Nogalito store, we have John, who's the uh, representative in charge of essentially uh, fulfilling online orders. So when John logs into the dashboard, he's given this 
quick view of all the orders that he needs to fulfill. So orders for pickup, orders for shipping. Uh, he's also shown the number of products that they carry in their store of the Nova brand. So you can see that as well as the sales for the day of Nova branded items that have flowed through the store. So in one quick view, he can see all of that information. Right now, he's here to fulfill that order from James. So he goes ahead, he can take a look at all of the information about the order. And then he can go through the store, he can pick up the jeans, pick up the sneakers, he can pack them up. And once the order is ready, he can update the status to ready for pickup, right? And this is gonna show up again in James's order history. He will be able to see that this item is now ready for pickup and it can also be communicated to him through an sms it can be sent to him through a whatsapp notification and he knows that he can now go into the store and pick up that order and to do so we also have a qr code that's generated for that order itself so james can now take this qr code he can print out the order confirmation with the QR code and he can go into the store. So when he goes in, he comes into the store, he meets up with John and John can pick up his scanner and he can then go ahead and scan the QR code that James brought in. And that will then pull up in his dealer portal all the information about that particular order. So John can then check all the information is accurate. This is indeed James. These are the items he's ordered. Once he's satisfied, he can then go ahead and hand over that order to James. And once he's done that, he can update the status to fulfilled and that completes the order. And once that's done, of course, this is going to go ahead and update the status in uh, the Elastic Path backend. It's going to update the status in James's order history as well. And so that entire user journey of a direct to consumer experience that James has had has also involved the dealers. Now, of course, customers like James, they don't only buy from the web anymore, do they? I mean, they, they're all on their mobiles most of the time, and they are looking to buy off the app. So we've got a mobile app experience that's also part of this big compose solution that's delivered. So James might be going through uh, the mobile app, let's say the next day, and he logs into the mobile app. Um, and when he does that, he'll have the same experience and the same details that he can go through as well. So now that he's logged in, uh, he can then browse through the, uh, the catalog. He'll have access to all the same information, all the same catalog details, and he can go through it, right? He might be looking to maybe buy some items for his girlfriend. So he can go in there. He can look at all the items that are there in the catalog, in the category. These, that's a nice t-shirt. So he decides, okay, let me add that in. And those sneakers look good too. So he adds that to his cart. And once he's done that, he can go ahead and check out. Now in the checkout, um, he has to enter all of his details. Now uh, I'm going to have to enter these details uh, in this checkout page, but uh, we would typically have this as an address book that James can then access and he can then put in all of his information. So as James is filling up, of course, he can put in his uh, phone number. So he'll put that in there. Uh, he can put in his country and uh, his address, right? So he's got to fill in a lot of information. So he fits all of that in there. He's got his postcode and finally all the address details that he has. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And once he's done that, he also has the same options available here to either ship or pick up. Now, this is useful because in case James is out, maybe he's out in uh, it, uh, out and about, maybe he's at his workplace, maybe he's out with some friends while he's doing this, this is still going to pick up his device location and find the nearest dealers to him with the stock to fulfill that order. So he can go ahead and pick the dealer nearest to him. And once he's done that, he has the option to also do a COD. Now this COD essentially works like a reserve online pick up and pay in store flow that you have. So uh, James can go ahead and place this order without actually paying for it right now. And when he actually goes into the store to pick up the order, at that point of time, he can actually make the payment. So now in his uh, order history, that order is going to show up. And he has this QR code now on his mobile. So when he goes into the store, uh, John can just scan that QR code off his mobile app and he can receive his order. He can make the payment for that. So John's going to go ahead um, you know, in his dashboard. He'll see that information again, and he can process that order. Right. So now this deeper portal that we have isn't only for order fulfillment. 
John as a store representative can also manage all the products. So we can see that there are about 100 products of the Nova brand that are available in the Nogalito store. And John can actually uh, edit that. He can see all the information about the products that they actually carry. Um, he can go ahead and add products, he can remove products, he can update product information, uh, he can do this manually, he can go ahead and update uh, the stock levels in the store, or he could update the price, and or he could do this, like I said, manually, or it, it could be an automated load from the dealer systems that could update this information, and that will make sure that the information that's on the storefront uh, is kept up to date, and when customers are coming onto the store to essentially make a purchase, they have the confidence that they are essentially going to be able to get uh, the products. They are going to be able to receive the products. So uh, if James were to have to do another flow, for example, where he's um, wanting to buy some products for his sister's housewarming that's coming up. So he goes ahead and adds that toaster into his cart and he uh, is placing the order for that toaster. He can, again, fill up all of the information about it. In this case, he's decided he's going to ship that item uh, to his sister. He's not going to receive it. He wants that item shipped to her. So he can pick a ship from dealer. And again, based on a sister's location, uh, it can pick the dealers that are closest to her with the stock. And then he selects that. Same as before, he can make the payment for it, right, through the Stripe integration. And once he does that, uh, Oh, uh, he does need to actually copy across the shipping address as well. We got that, right? So now he can place the order. And once he places the order, uh, pay, make the payment for it. Enter all of the details. And now this is again an order that he's placed now to get it shipped. So irrespective of the kind of fulfillment, irrespective of the customer experience required, whether they want to pick it up or whether they want to actually have it delivered to themselves, delivered to a family member, to a friend, to a relative, it doesn't matter that this system, this pre-composed solution can handle it. And here again in John's dashboard, uh, he can see this information about this order that he needs to ship to uh, James's sister, he can pack that up and then the Nova logistics partner can come pick that order up and uh, deliver that to James's sister in time for a housewarming. And once John has updated this as a fulfilled order, once this is completed, that's going to also update the inventory uh, position in the store as well. So this inventory and the stock position has updated now. And that makes sure that just as the inventory position and detail product details are getting updated, to the e-commerce, it can also go back to make sure that all the systems are essentially in sync. So as we've demonstrated, right, the, uh, the pre-composed solution that we have from the universal commerce is really geared towards accelerating time to market for a customer experience, whether that's across web, that's across mobile, whether it's for customers looking to buy, uh, to pick up or to get it shipped. Uh, it can handle all of these kind of user experiences. It can do that at an accelerated speed to market, but we, and it can involve the dealers in the process. Now we talked about the fact that it's also future-proof and it's really uh, the case, right? So on the storefront that we have right now that you can see, uh, this is being powered by an open source content management system that our pre-composed solution is integrated to. So all the banners that you see, all the, uh, all the other site content is coming from a content management system where this content has been stored. But as Nova sees more growth, right? As there are more customers coming in, as uh, there's a lot more traffic, they start to realize maybe this is not the right one. Maybe they need a better uh, content management platform. And they decide, okay, we're gonna make that switch and we're gonna move across to content pool as a CMS for us. We believe that's gonna be the right decision for us to make. They go, so when they make a decision like that, they of course have to move all of their content across. They have to create their banners. They have to move all their workflows across. But even once they've done all of that uh, work, they still have to decouple, you know, uh, disconnect the old CMS that's currently powering the storefront and integrate the contentful CMS, right? And that's going to be the case whether you, uh, you know, uh, if you want to switch your payment gateways, if you want to sh uh, switch uh, shipping providers, you're going to have to do this, but not with our pre-composed solution. Because we built this on the universal commerce framework that we've developed, that uh, platform is pre-integrated 
to a range of content management systems, to a range of payment systems. So now, because Nova has already loaded all of their uh, content across, they've completed all of that work, the actual switch of uh, the CMS from one to the other becomes as easy as the flick of a button. And by doing that, now all of the store information, all the store content, all the banners is now actually coming in from their contentful content management platform. And now the Nova team can go ahead and make their changes. They can manage all of the content manage, uh, content of the site through the contentful platform. But that switch becomes so much more easier. So that's really the value that we're delivering with our universal commerce suite free composed solution for dealer enabled DGC. We are accelerating time to market, absolutely. We are helping dealers, uh, we are helping brands understand their customers by uh, seeing the way they interact across web and mobile. And that allows them to meet their customers' needs by uh, with an accelerated pace of innovation. It also allows them to bring the dealers into the mix as we've demonstrated and they can be future-proof because the pre-integrations allow them to scale and optimize uh, in, a matter of, uh, in a matter of minutes and hours rather than the weeks and months that it used to take before. So that's really the value, the power of this platform because it sets you up not just for today, but for your needs five, seven, 10 years in the future as well. So with that, I think we are at the end of the demo and I think we are on time as well. So I'm gonna hand over back to Hannah at this point uh, to facilitate uh, the questions, in, uh, the Q&A session right now. Back yeah. to you, Hannah. Fantastic, thank you, Arul, that was wonderful. Um, so I encourage folks to ask their questions using the Q&A on the bottom right. I do have a few that have come in, so we'll start with those. And if anything pops up during, we can we can tackle. Um, first question coming in was around using different third-party solutions. So I'm assuming this is, you know, if I prefer to use another search provider beyond El Bulio, is that feasible? How do I, how do, I do that? Absolutely. So we can definitely do that. So our pre solution, like I said, has all of these components, but we also recognize that there are customers who might have their own search platform that they've been using for a while, right? Or they might have a preference for a certain search, uh, search engine like uh, Elasticsearch. But because we have the universal commerce platform that underpins our pre solution, that really accelerates the time for us to be able to onboard uh, the customer's preferred uh, components, whatever they might be. So that could be uh, content management, that could be search payments. As needed, we can onboard those in a matter of days and weeks compared to usually what used to be, you know, months that it used to take in the past. So absolutely, we can support that. Awesome. Fantastic. And I think overall, you know, for folks on the line, if you're not familiar with the composable commerce approach, that's a core tenant of the approach that we follow. And in partnership with Cmetric, they follow as well, the ability to quickly swap in and out partners, um, partner solutions, tech solutions. Uh, yeah. Composable commerce, you know, involves an open ecosystem, modular architecture. This is a great example of how that comes to life. And we actually saw that um, with the universal commerce suite that you showed. Absolutely. All right. And then another question that I see, can we use this if we don't have a dealer network? Yes, you can. So we have a bunch of use cases that this could be utilized for. So for example, one of the use cases that we, in fact we're talking to somebody about is uh, to facilitate using something like the PCM capability of Elastic Path to do a use case where uh, you, know, you have a bunch of dealers or you have a bunch of partners who have their own sites. So what we showed is essentially a direct to consumer where the dealer is only part of the fulfillment but we may also have use cases where the dealers themselves own the customer relationship and we can do those kind of examples. We can also do use cases where um, you know, brands that have their own stores or they might have franchisee stores, right? And they wanna utilize them as part of the fulfillment network to accelerate uh, how quickly they can get orders across to the customers. So we can absolutely support those kind of use cases as, uh, as well. It's not mandatory that this has to be used along with the dealer network alone. Okay. Um, actually, similarly, do you have a similar solution for B2C or how would you facilitate more of a B2C versus like specifically a D2C approach? Right. So, I mean, like I said, uh, we have this uh, dealer portal that could essentially be used also 
as a store fulfillment mod module essentially, right? So we can have even for a B2C uh, retailer that wants to give this as an ability for their stores to actually fulfill orders, uh, shipping, pickup kind of orders, we can do that. We can also bring in uh, components like Fluent. Uh, we can integrate to uh, components like Fluent that also allows that omni-channel kind of capabilities for B2C uh, retailers to be able to maximize how they meet their customers across every channel. Because obviously the whole buy anywhere, sell anywhere, uh, fulfill anywhere, return anywhere kind of capabilities, we can absolutely do that uh, with our dealer portals and also we're using components like Fluent Commerce in the mix. Sounds good. Um, this actually kind of gets, there's another question here and it gets at uh, maybe possibly the Fluent side of things. For the fulfillment flow, is there an OMS platform integrated or is it something you wrote as a service? So how would we handle OMS? You kind of just touched on it. Yeah, I, I did. So the dealer portal that we've developed is actually our own uh, service. So that's something that we've developed sort of like a OMS light, maybe for someone who wants to utilize this for their, uh, for, you know, allowing their dealers to be part of their entire process itself. But if they want it, like there are customers that we talk to who already have an OMS and that could be, you know, fluent, it could be some OMS. A lot of them actually custom build order management systems in house as well, right? And in those kind of cases, Cases, we can absolutely integrate to that because then you get the uh, you know the, the global inventory visibility. You get all of those additional capabilities that are part of an OMS that we can also enable for our customers when we utilize an OMS uh, within the pre-composed solution itself. Great. Okay, I think we have. Let me just see. Yep, looks like we've handled all the Q and A that's come in. I'll just pause for another moment to see if anyone else has a question. Okay, usually I can see folks typing. I see those little bubbles and I don't see anything. So with that, thank you very much, Arul, for joining us to demo and the whole Symmetric team for joining us on this edition of All Demo No Pitch. Thank you also to our attendees um, and look forward to additional invites because we're going to keep this series going. Please let us know if you have any questions and have a wonderful day. Thank you.